Wow. That guy did some tropical planting. Very nice. Nice house. I think I said nice house last time I went by that house. It's a very nice little area over here. This looks like a dollhouse. Look at this thing. Doesn't even look real. I wonder what you guys think when you're watching these videos. Because where you live is so different, possibly, depending on where you live. Like those of you in England, every time you watch my video, you're thinking, wow, he's on the wrong side of the road. Which is exactly what I think when I watch your videos. I got a question for you British people. I see on, the, on your roads in a lot of places, there are these weird patterns of white lines that go like zigzag, in and out, zigzag, back this way, back that way, back this way. What the hell does that mean? I think our uh, road painting is a lot simpler here. Double yellow lines means don't pass. If you have a broken line, it means you can pass. The white line is, is basically the breakdown zone or area. Not that you could park there very well. In Massachusetts, it's wider so you can ride your bicycle in that. You wouldn't want to ride a bike here. Not with cars passing you doing 60 miles an hour. Cows, lots and lots of cows. I never used to see cows in Massachusetts because I lived in the city. Hello, cow. Ugh. Oh, pothole. I almost died to say hello to a cow. Oh, this is pretty. So that recent video I made where I was talking about gun ownership received a troll comment and it came from a from an angle that I really hadn't expected. I figured I'd get a troll comment of the kind where, you know, you're crazy if you like guns. Typical American idiot liking guns, that kind of stuff. I've seen that before. But so I, I could, you know, I figured I'd see that on my video, but no, I, I haven't seen that yet. What I saw was um, Massachusetts bashing. You know, you're, you're an idiot, a jerk, or this or that, because you're stupid. You think everybody in Massachusetts hates guns. So I wrote back, I said, look, I'm from there. I spent 29 years of my life there. When I talked about the mentality of people, I talk from experience. 29 years living in a place, you think you'd figure out a little bit of the zeitgeist of the people. Zeitgeist, that's a good word, I like that word, zeitgeist. It means like, you know, the trend, the spirit. The spirit of the people. I never knew anybody who owned a gun except my dad. I never knew anybody who wanted to own a gun except my dad. It was almost like an underground thing. I, I only know of one gun shop in all of Massachusetts. And I don't even know if it's open anymore because I haven't been there since 98. Maybe the mentality has changed. But from my experience, that's what I saw. People said, oh, guns are crazy. So this guy called me all kinds of names because I am basically speaking what I experienced. And then he said something about maybe it's because I'm on Zoloft. And that's why I can't be trusted and I'm stupid. Like, really? You're going to shit on me for the drugs I take to keep from killing people like you? Maybe I ought to go off it. Maybe I should just stop taking it for a day. Stir up some fun. Nah. I just basically told him to go pound sand and, and deleted him, blocked him.
Don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. I'm much better at it now. I used to go round for round with them. Back and forth. Not anymore. I say what I gotta say and I get out. Ooh, look at this old Mustang. Nice. I had this one guy who commented on a video of mine. I'm in my subdivision, which has got, you know, my street and the street next to it. It's got maybe 30 houses on it on a good day. <laughs> Very quiet, hardly anybody ever around. I come to the end of that little street, and I, there's a stop sign. I look left, I look right, there's nobody anywhere near anywhere. Nobody behind me, nobody in front of me, nobody out. Hell, the dogs are even inside. And I slow down and then I keep going. I didn't stop and put my feet down at the stop sign. Next stop sign, same thing. Because I know my neighborhood. So this guy says, I stopped watching your video after you ran the, st the second stop sign. Oh, jeez. Everybody loves to armchair quarterback. Here's what I do. If you run stop signs as you ride, A, I probably didn't notice, and B, if I did, I don't give a shit. Unless you did it in a way that endangered other people. A place where you really should have stopped, but you didn't. Or if you're doing wheelies in, on a public street like this, you're doing wheelies. I don't like that, but I'm not gonna make a comment either way. If I don't like what you do in your video, I just don't watch it. You don't have to make a comment. I stopped watching after you failed to wave to that person and you failed to use your hand as a turn signal. You did not stop and put both feet down for a full three seconds. If you want to ride that way, feel free. But don't go telling other people how to live their lives. I don't want to hear it. There's this guy, I can't remember his name now. He lives in Texas. I think it's Texas or Florida. And he rides a, a cruiser type bike. Ooh, that's a Maserati. Ooh, fancy. So he rides this cruiser type bike and he kind of reminds me of my little brother, Mark. He's kind of laughy, giggly, funny, irreverent, says the F word a lot, but he's intelligent. You know, you can tell he's making good arguments. And he, he said that he never rode with a helmet for the first 19 years that he was riding a motorcycle, including even after he crashed and cracked his skull open. He still didn't wear a helmet because he just didn't give a shit. And you know what, if you don't care whether you live or die, okay, you know, do what you gotta do. Don't wear a helmet. If you don't have to, don't wear one. I personally would wear one, but I, I'm not gonna write into him, you're an idiot for not wearing a helmet. That's his life, not mine. He wears one now because he motovlogs. He hates it when people preach to him about stuff. And I agree, I don't like anybody preaching to me. Like if, if I had a, well not if I had a kid, I'd be different if I had a kid. I'd be like, kid you're doing what I tell you. But with my nieces and my friend's kids, I don't treat them like, I know so much because I am older than you. Nah, nah, nah. I treat them like, well, here's what I experienced. And, uh, you know, maybe you can learn from what I experienced. You know, make what choices, make what choices you need to make. But here's what happened to me. So at least you know, you know, you have some kind of perspective. It's kind of like if somebody's going down a road that they've never been down and you've been down it a million times, you say, well, in that first corner, you want to stay to the left because there's a pothole on the right-hand side. And as you get to the top of the hill, slow down because there's always a cop waiting behind it. That kind of thing. That's what I would say. 
But I wouldn't say, you know, don't do this because blah, blah, blah. I just say, well, there's a cop over there, so you might want to watch out. That'd be pretty much it. Live and let live. That's the philosophy of my Kaylee 7. You know preachy me, I know preachy you. All right, folks. I hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful weekend.